One of the coolest things about owning a Tesla is not that it drives itself, but that it gets better over time. My car is faster and does more than when I bought it. We got dog mode. Now it's okay to leave your dog in the car. We got sentry mode. Your car's safe because the cameras are always recording. The car didn't used to be able to change lanes on its own, but now it can. Tesla added Netflix, YouTube, beach buggy racing. The car gained the ability to warn you about stop signs and stop lights, which it couldn't do before. The amount of features that this car has gained in 2019 is almost too numerous to count. So let's take a look at my top five favorite features my Model 3 gained in 2019. But before we get started, I have to say thank you to my newest patron, Wick. You are now in the frunk. Number five is a pretty recent addition, stop mode. When I first got my car, I had to use the brake below around five miles an hour. Above that speed, the car uses regen braking, taking kinetic energy from the motors to slow the car and recharge the battery. Well, Tesla made it so it's possible for you to not use the brake at all during your drive. The car now slows all the way to a stop. Getting the hang of this takes a little bit of time, and in the winter when your regen is limited, you can't use it all the time, but when you are using it, it makes the car even easier to drive. My fourth favorite new feature that came out this year is Smart Summon. All I have to do is pull up my phone, hold a button, and my car will come find me in a parking lot. When this feature first came out, it took the internet by storm, in good and bad ways. There were stories of fender benders, near-miss accidents, and even an article about some guy walking in front of his car to see if Smart Summon would stop for him. While this feature is really fun and really amazing, it does make the car fully self-driving in parking lots. I don't get that much use out of it yet. It still needs a little bit of improvement, so I don't use it all that often, which is why it's number four. Number three is better lane changes. I was so excited when this update came out. This also comes from the 2019.40 update. When I first got my car, it was able to make lane changes if I used the turn signal and told it to, but they weren't very good. The lane changes were very slow, and even sometimes during the lane change, the car, for whatever reason, would decide, I can't really do this, and it would move back into its lane, canceling the lane change, and you'd have to try all over again, and it looked kind of weird. It probably confused some people around me when that would happen. Well, that got better way before this update, but the lane changes were still a little hesitant sometimes, but now if you hit that turn signal, you're changing lanes, and you're changing lanes fast. This was a huge quality of life improvement for autopilot driving. Number two is Sentry Mode slash Tesla Cam. When I bought my car, it came with cameras surrounding the car, but I couldn't use them or see anything. They were just used for autopilot. Shortly after I picked up my car, I got an update, and suddenly all the footage that some of those cameras were capturing were put onto a USB drive temporarily, ready for me to save whenever I needed them to. If I see something weird in traffic, just click a button and it saves it. If I come out to my car and it's got a ding on it, I can just pull out that USB stick and see who did it. There have been countless news stories of people using Sentry Mode and Tesla Cam to catch traffic accidents, get politicians in trouble when they do a hit and run on a car, helping people with their insurance claims, and catching people keying cars. And number one, my favorite update that came out this year, you probably guessed it, no confirmation lane changes with Navigate on Autopilot. Oh yeah, here it is. 2019.8.5. This is just so fun. The first time I used it, my mind was blown. The car gets on the highway and it changed lanes all on its own to get into a faster lane and I just didn't expect it. You know, just seeing that message pop up and the car just slowly drifts into the other lane, goes around the car in front of it that's slower, and then it automatically moves out of the passing lane to get out of the way of faster drivers. This update is what allowed me to do Tesla challenges, and it just makes my drive to work much more interesting. Not that I can always just kind of sit back and let the car do whatever it wants, but it is so fun every morning turning this on, seeing what the car is going to do, and most of the time letting it do everything on my way to work. A few honorable mentions, dog mode, Really fun, a lot of people had fun with this one. You can put your dog in the car, set a temperature to keep them safe, a uh, message comes up on the screen so anyone that looks into the car can see that your air conditioning or your heating is on, keeping your dog comfortable. Deep rain also, one of my bigger complaints was that the windshield wipers didn't work all that well, and I have had a great time with deep rain. I've seen mixed opinions on this across the internet, which is pretty funny because, you know, we do all have the same software, but it seems like the cars do behave slightly differently. Ever since receiving deep rain, I personally have had a great time with my auto wipers and they seem to work perfectly. And finally, Joe mode. This came with version 10. It's just a little setting in the safety menu that lets all your warnings and chimes and noises that the car makes, like turn signals, quieter. And it's really nice, especially when you have a baby sleeping in the back seat. Now, some of the warnings are still a little loud, but they are quieter than they were, so I'm really happy to have that option. Let me know your car's favorite new abilities in the comments below. I love Navigate on Autopilot, but again, without software updates, it wouldn't be that great. 
If it was the same as when it first came out, it'd be a little disappointing, but it is so much better now. This video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. You can use the code DIRTYTESLA to get 15% off anything site-wide. Link to their website is in the description. Thanks for watching this one, and if you've made it this far in the video, you know that at the end, I now respond to a comment of my choosing, and this is a pretty important one. This is by Dron KRZ. When will they start retrofitting for Hardware 3 and Mass? Well, Elon tweeted and he said in quarter one, they're going to start doing much more hardware three retrofits. If you're unfamiliar, if you bought full self-driving, some cars have older hardware on them. It's just a computer chip and this can be model three, model S or model X. And if you want some of the new things that are coming out, like cones being displayed on your screen, or now it looks like some people are getting stop signs and stoplights actually displayed on their screen, you need this new hardware and Tesla has to do that for you. So Elon said quarter one, and they will be contacting you to let you know that your car is ready for the retrofit. And I'm more hearing now that you go to a service center for this. Mobile service won't be doing it, but it's going back and forth. I've heard both, so we'll see how that plays out. All right, thanks for watching this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments, and you will see me in the next video.